I want to kick this idea of authority and trust off with one simple, excuse me, authority and privacy off with one simple concept, and that's the concept of trust. And what these, these two issues, especially these two issues, have hinged on is who don't you trust? What don't you trust? How, how are we being manipulated? How are we being taken advantage of? But what I want to start with is exactly the opposite and kind of, uh, kind of give you this idea that, um, that what is happening in the vast, 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 vast majority of cases um, when humans interact with other humans is not the lack of trust, but the amount of trust. The very fact that we have a society, the very fact that we have any kind of organized social interactions at all is completely based on trust. You have a certain amount of trust that the people around you are going to do certain things and are going to respect certain parts of your, your, um, uh, your rights and your responsibilities, and that's what makes the world go round. So in stark contrast to how this issue is often framed, that there's a very, very large lack of trust in the world, I want you to begin from this concept that there's not a lack of trust in this world. This world runs on trust. This world is completely built on trust. If it wasn't for the vast amount of trust that happens in this world, nothing could occur at all. No two people could get along at all because their entire interaction is based on trust. And I love this cartoon because it's, it's so perfect. It's so perfect to show the hidden face of trust. Okay, so we're gonna talk a lot about what you don't trust and how you come to be able to trust things. But I want you to really understand and begin from this concept that it's not, the, the vast majority of interactions are hugely trusted interactions between human beings and everything you do is based on that trust. All right, so let's start with this idea of authority. <clears throat> and let me give you a definition first of all. Authority is, let me get this, these guys goodbye. Authority is what is the trusted, definitive, absolutely beyond question source. So when I say I'm an authority on fire hydrants, that means that what I say about fire hydrants is to be trusted. It's to be, under, it's to be respected. You know that I have put my time into my, and I'm, what I say about fire hydrants is really what is true. That's the idea of authority. And authority is someone who can speak authoritatively about a subject, definitively. That idea of a definitive is that's the one. There's no other one that's better than that. So that's the idea of authority. Authority is my or someone's ability to speak uh, in a way that is beyond reproach. Okay, that's the idea of authority. And so the, the concept of authority really is, uh, is at issue now. We had an old way of doing it and now there's lots of new parts to that idea of authority that are coming in and need to be sorted out. And that's what I'm hoping you do, is I hope you sort it out for all of us and help us figure this stuff out.